Hello, so in this video I'm trying to set the force feedback settings as good as possible in this game. So here are the settings that I was using before this video and I felt like those were maybe a bit too strong still. The main issue was that the, the force feedback was uh, too strong overall. The wheel was very very heavy, it was tough to recover from the slides and it was just uh, too hard to steer. What I found is that the self-aligning torque is the most significant force that you want, but uh, that was also too strong by default. And I am using the Logitech G29. Way how I wanted to test what each of these settings do, so I decided to put everything to zero, and then drive a track that I know pretty well. The collision and soft lock, uh, they really don't do anything regarding the driving on the road, so I will just ignore them for now. Three, two, one, go. Six left, opens 150. So now the steering feels much lighter than before. It's not so strong as before. The car wants to center, but overall all the forces have been reduced. I can pretty easily steer, but uh, there is definitely some force feedback missing now. Okay, so let's see what the wheel of friction introduces to the force feedback. I'm gonna put that to 50 and I will drive around the same track. And I will keep the self-aligning torque to zero. Three, two, one, go. Six left, opens 150. So now the wheel just feels heavy. It feels very heavy to turn around to either direction. To stop. Well done. So then we have left the tire friction. So let's set the wheel friction to zero and increase the tire friction. Six left, opens 150. So now here is no feeling at all. The wheel is just dead. And the wheel is still dead. There is no force feedback at all. Keep middle of a crest and don't cut for right. Oh wait, when I'm standing still, I can feel the wheel resisting the turning. So this is what the this setting does. When I'm moving. It's completely dead. Into six left, extra long of a crest. When I'm standing still, there's some resistance. Okay, so let's put that to zero. And let's try what the suspension does. One, go. Six left, thirty. When I'm out of track, I feel a bit of a rattle and I can feel a force hitting on bigger bumps but when driving straight on the road there is not much. When going into the ditch I can feel I can feel when I'm going out from it. Like, like right there. The wheel kicks back a bit. 
six left, extra long. And when I'm when the car is changing the weight from one side to another, there is a slight change on how the wheel feels, so I can feel the weight transfer of the car that way. Okay, so based on previous tests, the self-aligning torque is the most significant. Wheel friction doesn't do much, but I think I like a bit of this resistance when I'm turning the wheel. And tire friction seems to be working only while stationary, so we can keep it on 100. And suspension forces felt pretty small. So we'll give it as a hundred. We will try with these settings. Now the wheel feels uh, again very heavy to turn. It is much heavier than what I started it with. It feels like all of the forces have been increased now. So one of the settings, the tire friction or suspension, made it too strong. Let's try with tire friction in 50. So let's put the tire of friction to zero. The wheel is still very heavy. Still the forces are too strong. Okay, so let's decrease the suspension to 50. Okay, so now the felt slightly better. The forces were not so strong again, but I could handle the car quite nicely. But it was still strong. Very long of a finish to stop. Well done. Okay, so with these settings, we did the personal best for the track. So there is some improvement. So now it feels like the self-aligning torque is actually multiplying the effect of the tire friction and suspension and most likely wheel friction as well. So let's try now to put the tire friction all the way up to 100. Let's see how that feels. So now the wheel is just resisting me from counter steering. Now I get a big resistance when I'm trying to counter steer during a slide. Whenever I'm turning the wheel outside of the turn, I'm getting big resistance. So this will basically prevent you from recovering from the slides or keeping up a good slide through the corner. So I will put that to zero. So with a bit of uh, tweaking around, I was trying to put the self-lining torque to 50, but that didn't feel good. Then self-lining torque back to 55, I used the suspension to 10, that didn't feel good. So it seems for me that you need to use these settings in relation to each other. With self-aligning torque being the most significant suspension, after that, if you put suspension too low, the feeling is not good, and if you put self-aligning torque too small in relation to the suspension, it doesn't feel good. So it seems that when I'm, for example, increasing the self-aligning torque, that increases the uh, suspension feedbacks as well. Or if I decrease the self-aligning torque, that will decrease 
the suspension force feedback uh, at the same time. Every time when I decreased one of those settings, there was a huge uh, decrease in the overall force feedback that I was getting. Okay, so these are the settings that I ended up with after testing. So self-aligning torque to 53, wheel friction to 10, tire friction to 0, suspension to 18. If you would want to adjust the forces here, if it's too strong, then I would decrease the self-aligning torque and I would decrease the suspension and the wheel friction at the same time. Or if you want more force feedback, then I would increase the self-aligning torque, the wheel friction and the suspension at the same time. Having the self-aligning torque as the most significant and the wheel friction suspension much smaller. Well done. So immediately when applying these settings, I was able to make my personal best time getting closer to the first place here on this track. So I hope that helps you guys. So you can try to set up your own G29 wheel so that the driving will be a pleasant experience. Who knows, maybe the same principles will work on other wheels as well. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.